Hey guys, welcome back to some more Metal Gear Solid 3. We are in the Mangrove Swamp, and there are floating dudes on platforms that will see us if we uh, if we carry on like this. I, I, well, I say that. If you go into the spot uh, spotlights, the searchlights, you're pretty much screwed. Um, oh, look at the frog. Oh, look at the little froggy. Oh, yeah, we might do some fishing here, because, uh, yeah, all my food's gone off again. I keep on forgetting that if I don't play the game for so long, all my food goes to shit. But uh, but it's okay, we've still got lots of rations, lots of calorie mates, noodles, and uh, some captured critters. And again, like I said, this rotten food will have a purpose uh, later down the line. Uh, what I need to do, though, is change my camouflage to the water camo, effective when underwater. There you go. Uh, not much I can do to my face right now. Just gonna stick to the no paint. And backpack, we want to get our croc cap out that we spent ages trying to get. This is the perfect time to use it, or at least I hope so. I hope it works. I'm gonna unequip the a no, unequip the shotgun because we don't have any ammo for it anyway. And uh, we'll keep our pistols. So, let's see how we get through this area. Uh, I will say this, I actually would have liked to have already found the thermal goggles at this point. Now, I think I left them in the same place that Sokolov was in, in that factory. And because I was so distracted by all the freaking guards, I completely forgot to go get it. Hopefully, we can get it quite soon anyway, but yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm actually going to do a spot of fishing, if I can. I wouldn't mind to get a few of these fishies. But as you know, Snake's aim with the knife isn't the best. Especially when the fish are probably just going to swim away from us. There we go. Yes. Oh, I'm full? Crap, I'm going to have to get rid of something. Okay, uh... Get rid of that. Dispose. Uh, dispose. That'll do. Oh, we got some fish! Let's check it out. Arowana and Maroon Shark. Ooh. Now, you'd think that fish would be pretty tasty, even though I'm not actually a big fan of fish in real life. Seafood is a no-go for me. I'm just a crocodile. I'm just a crocodile. I really don't know if this is going to work. I mean, I could just swim all the way down and possibly avoid them, but... I think if we just crouch like this when the searchlight's going over us, we should be alright. I'm hoping that's the case. But yeah, this area is... Uh, I always think of this area when I think of MGS3. Pretty much because it's the only area like it in the game, really. I'm just a crocodile! <laughs> we have deceived him. Just gotta watch out he doesn't get us from behind. Um, as well as the thermal goggles, which I'm hoping we'll find soon, we may be coming across the sniper rifle. Eventually. Now, where is he looking? Where is he going? He's a bit erratic compared to the other dude. Oh, God damn it, you would be right there, wouldn't you? Now, you can trank them, but they, f they go to sleep and then the platforms fall out of the sky. And they tend to explode when they do that. So, it's not really the stealthiest of options. Are you gonna fucking move, or what, dude? I'm totally gonna get seen if I carry on going- There we go. Alright, go for it. Ooh. Oh shit. I'm just a croc. I'm a croc in a smock. Right. We're under him now, it should be... Ooh! Oh shit! 
I think we're okay. Uh... Don't mind me, buddy. Let me just ch I want to check the map. I want to make sure I'm not missing an area here. No. I don't... Oh, no, I might be doing... I think there's an area on the left we can go to. Ah, yeah, there is. Right, so we don't go straight ahead. I want to go to the left first. Because this might be where the sniper rifle is. I could be wrong, though. It's been a very long time. And I it is really dark still. I can barely see a goddamn thing. Really nice water, though. Right, so. Ooh, hello, Mr. Guard. I see you. I see you. Right, let's put our suppressor back on. In case we forget. Shit, I really need to find another one as well for me trank gun. I really do. Right, so is he the only guy in this area? Can I get him from here? Oh, shit. I mean, I did hit him, so he should fall asleep eventually. Just my imagination. <laughs> this dart that's in me is just my imagination. There he goes. Is there anyone else about? Oh, shit. I see you, Mr. Man. That was better. Alright, there's so no one else. Now, I, the problem is I've been playing a lot of MGS5 recently, so I instinctively, I was just about to go over to this dude and try and fault in him away, <laughs> which is not going to work uh, at all. Bullets. I don't really need this croc cap on right now, but I'm wearing it anyway. White phosphorus grenade. You f oh, I just wanted to get off the fucking boat, man. There we go. Right. What's this? Stun grenade. Oh my god! Do just stay on the jetty, please. Um, I think in areas like this you want to watch out for any spiders. Which are very, very close to snakes on my do-not-want-to-fuck-with list. Uh... Must be something in this warehouse. Grenades. TNT. AK bullets. Oh, what's this? There's SD, uh, SDV. SVD, Dragon of Sniper Rifle. Yay! And we got some more rounds for our shotgun. Very cool. So I recommend you check this place out. Uh, is there anything else while we're here? Ah, another- oh, brilliant, another suppressor, beautiful. Cool. I'm not sure if there's anything in the water. But it's very difficult to me for me to fucking see anyway, so... I don't know if I'm gonna bother searching. We're just going to head back to where we just came from. I mean, there might be something over there. Is it worth going and checking it out? I think so. We probably have time before the guards wake up. Ah, I think there is something. What is it? Oh, another suppressor for my lethal pistol. Perfect. Okay. Right. I'm going to take that off for now. does look kind of silly. But, as you saw, it did the trick. And again, I'm very sorry for how dark it is. I can barely see either, but... Uh, that will not be the case for very long. I mean, it is nearly night time, but for some reason, visibility at night seems better than... than, like, twilight or in the cave. Ooh. I hope they don't turn around and see me. 
Nice close up a snake there, wasn't it? Right. Now, there's a little something we can do here. I'm not going to, because it kind of ruins possibly the best thing in the game. But you can do it if you want to, and I love the fact that you can. Uh, I'm going to equip my sniper. You can actually avoid an entire boss fight in the game. If you want to. I think this is the point that you can do it. But we're going to have uh, a few cutscenes first. At least I'm pretty sure this is the point. Yeah, I think so. So love. Oh shit. Get your hands off me. I'm not going anywhere. Really now? How many times must I tell you? Time you resist, your lover will suffer the consequences. Is that clear? Forgin. Damn you. Hold it right there, traitor. Let's find out just how lucky you are. Watch closely. guns has a single bullet in it. I'm going to pull the trigger six times in a row. Are you ready? Uh. hasn't run out yet. There's no such thing as luck on the battlefield. You'd better stay in line from now on. The Cobras will take care of him. <sighs> Has the CIA dog been disposed of yet? The pain is dead. What? He may be a 
child, but he's definitely one of yours. I fear Khrushchev may have a hand in this. We have no time to lose. You must eliminate him before the final test. Don't worry. They'll be able to handle it. I'm leaving him to you, the fear. is always sleeping. Is he all right? The end is saving what life he has left in him for battle. Normally, he's dead. But he'll wake up when the time is right. And when he does, it will be the end for the boy. Yeah. Sokolov isn't worth your love. You can entertain me until the rain stops. Kuwabara, Kuwabara. Sorrow, is that you? <gasps> Who's that? But man, what an awful guy Vorgan is. Don't you really just hate him so much? The boss, I don't hate at all. Vorgan, yes. So much. Now, if we're very quick... You can actually shoot the end with a sniper rifle and kill him now, if you want to. I'm not going to, though, because you miss out on a very cool boss fight. But yes, you can shoot him in the head, he dies, and uh, the w a wheel of the wheelchair flies at you and hits you, which is kind of funny. But yes, we're not going to do that, okay? And I'm sure there's plenty of videos showing it. In fact, I don't even know if I showed it in my last Let's Play. But that would involve, like, reloading, and I can't be bothered. So, so yeah, you can do it if you want to. Right. Okay, we need to sneak past these dudes. I'll stick with that camo. For now. Um, I'm going to put my sniper away, because it's bloody heavy. Let's see if anyone has anything to say. We probably can't phone Eva, because she's busy with Volgin. Doing God knows what. I really do not envy her. Major, Sokolov has been hauled off. Yes, they probably caught him trying to escape from the lab. Didn't Fulgin say that they still needed to perform the final test? Yeah. Then Sokolov must have been taken back to the lab. Get to the lab and get Sokolov the hell out of there. Pass through that warehouse and you'll come out south of the lab. Make your way inside the warehouse. Watch out for enemy sentries. Try my best. I'll try my best. Alright, now the... My camo isn't great, so... I'm gonna have to be careful here. What the... Oh shit, dude, really? What? Caution already? You serious? In HQ. No, 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 no. This is HQ. Go to sleep. Oh, I shot his radio! What's going on? Respond. They are going to send sentries, though. They're going to... Support unit. Confirm their status. Fuck. They're going to wake him up, too. What's wrong? Oh, they're here already? You can see they've got, like, ballistic shields and crap. 
do not want to deal with them. That's annoying. Maybe I should have stuck with the croc cap. Hmm. Maybe I should have. I've got hair in my mouth. Oh. Ugh. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Having a beard and a moustache is... It has its downfalls, I'm telling you. Blah. Right. Um... I really don't know if this is going to trick them. Can I shoot that dude before he wakes up his mate? Huh? Shit. Go to sleep! Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, you son of a bitch, he woke him up. Oh, that's the end of my suppressor. This is HQ. God damn it. Well, this isn't going well. What's going on? Respond. Oh, did he fall asleep again? There's something wrong. Support unit, confirm their status. See, I wouldn't mind taking them all out so I can search for items, but... <laughs> the dropping light flies! What's wrong? What's wrong? I need. Oh, god damn it. This is HQ. Patrol here. We're under enemy fire. Enemy's position is unknown. Going into alert formation. Acknowledged. Keep your eyes open. This is not the best spot, really. Let's go over here a little bit. Oh, hello. Oh, sniper bullets that I don't need. Now, if only the sniper had a silencer on it, that would make things a lot easier. Okay, so we've got that dude. There's at least th three or four of them. I need to somehow take them all out without them waking each other up. No, I didn't want to swim. I wanted to crouch here. Uh, is it too freaking shallow to... Too deep to crouch, I mean. Huh? Oh, shit. Who's that? Shit. Who's that? No! No! I shot you in the face! Son of a bitch! Oh, God. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. My god, I've shot you like a million times in the leg. Hooray! Is there any more? Apparently. Where am I being shot from? Oh, hello. There we go. Right, is that all of them? I think so. I can't believe I missed that dude. Oh shit, they're firing flares as well. Right, okay, no, we're good, we're good. Get up there! Get up there, snake! Well, that was a fail, but hey, we didn't die, so that's alright. Get up on the fucking- Oh my god! Thank you. Alright, they're all sleeping like babies. I'm going to take this croc cap off, and I don't think I'll ever need it again. Well, probably not, anyway. Oh, man, that was a that was a bit of a balls up, wasn't it? Oh, we can use the... I think the cardboard box would be useful in this area, though. We're heading into a factory, after all. Or a warehouse, I should say. Which uh, tends to have a lot of storage boxes. Ah, crap. You see that on the floor? That's a spider... I'm gonna kill it. And I ain't getting close enough to knife it because I don't want to get bit. And I'm full. I could probably eat something anyway. Let's have... the arowana. I mean, that's just gross. 
I don't know what's worse, eating a raw snake or a raw fish. I mean, at least kill it first before you start eating into it, snake. Come on, man. Oh, okay, decent. It wasn't great, wasn't bad. It was very average. Just like me. Well, we got ourselves a spider. Now, I don't know if I'd want to eat the spider particularly. I'd definitely eat a snake before I ate a spider. Cobalt blue tarantula. <laughs> oh man, I'm not a fan of spiders. Not a fan. Alright, anything else around here before I move on? This kind of reminds me of the first area of, uh, of Metal Gear Solid 1. A little bit, anyway. Ooh, something down. Oh, another suppressor, dude! Yeah! Bullets! Useful shit. I'll take that. Alright, let's head into the warehouse, and I think for this we're going to change our camo. And we're going to go for the splitter, or should we go for the... Um... Oh no, it is. That is pretty much the best urban thing we have. Okay. And black would actually be better. Okay, we're blacking up. Black ops. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to shake down this dude to see what he has for us. There's bullets. Bullets that I don't need. Ponizovji Warehouse. It's probably not how you say that. And this, this sound, the sound, the, the ambience, reminds me so much of the uh, communication towers in MGS 1 2. Not 1 2, 1 2, T double O. You know what I mean. Right. Can't remember how many dudes are in here. So it's cardboard box time. Right, there are two, two, at least two of them. We need to get to the stairs. Hey, is that rats I hear? All right, this is gonna be tricky. <laughs> One down. Where's the other dude? Camera isn't completely controllable in this area. Serum. Antidote. Where is he? I see you. Yes. Right. I think. I, I hope to God that's all of them. see anyone. Oh, hello. I do now. Shit. Oh, fucking hell. I need to be accurate with these shots, because if they get get a chance, they will call for backup. Oh, new face camo. Ah, yes. Thank God, the thermal goggles. We need that so badly. Cool. Glad I found them. Is that a crab inside the warehouse? It is. Place is goddamn infested. All right, don't think we can go through that. I always find it funny the way he runs up and down stairs in this game. I mean, it was the same in MGS too. Actually, it was just hilarious. Step sick. Let's grab whatever this is. Another suppressor. Fan fucking tastic. It's just so, I don't know, it's so dainty the way he runs up. Alright, what's in here? Ah, we found the, the rations and the food supplies. And a mousetrap. 
Um, if that is the case, we're going to get rid of some of our rotten shite. Throw away one of these pythons. And again, I don't want to throw away too much. In fact, I'll probably just get rid of that. Because I prefer to have these things that don't ever wear off. Or wear off. I mean, uh, you know, go rotten. Self closing doors. Does this chap have anything for me? Not really. Anything hidden here? Nope. Right. Granny Gorky South. Now this area is full of booby traps. And I mean full of booby traps. We're gonna have to be very, very, very careful. So trip wires, pits, uh, even like foot traps. We'll probably see, actually, what some of these traps have done to uh, the nearby scientists. Ah, in fact, we can see one right now. Get the binoculars out. Let's get a decent look at this. Oh dear. He's just hanging around. Not great. Not a great way to go. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of poison dart frogs around here that are actually kind of useful for an upcoming part as well, but I don't think I'm going to bother uh, grabbing any. I have plenty of rotten food. So, we'll just slowly go through this place. I'm very wary of the, of the foliage, because it can conceal a bunch of shit. Uh, I am going to try climbing this tree, though, because this a very small chance you can see something kind of cool. Or at least I've read that you can see something kind of cool. But I don't know exactly where to look. Hmm. There's a chance you can see a character running through this place. That sort of hints at something to come later on, but I don't know where exactly he appears. So let's just forget that. I can hear a lot of movement somewhere. Maybe that's what I'm looking for? Oh, hang on. Oh, it's a rabbit! It's a wabbit! Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting Webbit. And again, I don't really have the space. I'll eat the rat. Oh, decent, decent. Alright, I reckon the rabbit's gonna taste good. Right, there's a trip wire there. I'll avoid that bastard. Um. So yeah, this sort of camera is kind of like what was in the original MGS3, but all the way through the game. I'm not sure why that they've limited it in this area specifically. Maybe it's because it'll make the traps harder to see. Uh, there's a tree we can climb there, I suppose. I'm not sure if there's any items in this area particularly that I want to grab. I'm just very relieved I've found the thermal goggles. Another snake up there that I'm just going to ignore. Another tripwire that we can crawl under. Unless we want to climb up here. Can we climb up here? No. Ah, we can climb this. Climb the tree, snake. Climb the tree. Climb the bastard. Thank you. I just, I just like climbing trees. 
It brings out the kid in me, you know, I just... Who didn't like climbing trees when they were a kid? Oh yeah, nothing, nothing seems to be happening. Oh, there's more- oh shit! You see that then? Did you see that? Someone got fucked. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> Nasty. Alright, well at least he's got rid of that trap for us. And yeah, as you can see... Oh, get up, snake. I just want to show this. That looks awfully suspicious, doesn't it? Oh, look, mushrooms, we can grab them. Nope, you get yoinked up into the tree, and then you have to cut yourself free. It's not actually that big of a deal. Um, and look, that looks awfully suspicious too. I don't know if we should go for this. Ooh, ooh okay, maybe, maybe it's safe. Where am I supposed to be going, exactly? It is kind of a big area, but... Mm. Don't like walking through this grass. Well, it's not really grass, but you know what I mean. Oh shit! Another trap. Oh shit! Oh, I thought I dodged it, but look, there's a frog. I guess we'll take this opportunity to uh, call the traps. Snake, have you been caught in a snare trap? Yeah. If you don't get down from there soon, <laughs> the enemy might spot you. I know that. Then why don't you get yourself down? <laughs> How am I supposed to do that? It should You've be You've got a obvious. knife? If you get caught in a snare trap, press the action button. That will allow you to cut the rope. Hurry and free yourself before the enemy comes around. There's no actual enemies in this area, so I think we'll be fine. There you go. See? It's just a minor inconvenience. Uh, although, yeah, you could shoot the... Uh, Keratan frog up there if you want to. Right, anyway, we're done with this area. We're actually at the lab itself. And that's where I'm going to end this video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We're just going to quickly save with uh, Paramedic, as usual, and see what she has to say. Do you want to save? I do want to save, yes. That's why I selected the save option. But yeah, this this next area is going to be a little bit of a change of pace. Uh, there's also guard dogs in, on the outside that we're going to have to watch out for. But this, this next bit's kind of fun. If you do it right. It can be stressful if you don't do it right. And, well, I don't know how it's going to go. <laughs> I'll try my best. I can't promise any more than that. Hey, Snake, have you ever seen Forbidden Planet? No, can't say I have. It's about this expedition that goes to the planet Altair IV in an ultra-fast spaceship. When they arrive, they meet the survivor of the last expedition, Dr. Morbius. Dr. Morbius was exploring the planet along with his daughter, Altera, and the versatile Robbie the Robot. Ignoring the doctor's warnings, the expedition team is suddenly attacked by an invisible creature called the Monster from the Id. The special effects they used for the science stuff were really neat. I wish I had a robot like Robbie that could make anything I wanted it to. I'm more interested in that invisible monster. If I were invisible, I wouldn't have to bother hiding or wearing camouflage. Maybe someday you'll be able to turn invisible. Yeah, that'll be the day. <laughs> ah, yes. Well, as you saw in that last cutscene, the fear seemed to manage it quite nicely. Um, but oh boy, Snake, don't you worry. You can unlock stealth camouflage in this game, and I've pretty, I'm pretty sure I've explained how to do that. Um, but yes, uh, that's a nice little conversation. Right, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this. Next time, we're going to be infiltrating Granini Gorky Lab. And yeah, look, there's a doggo. There's a doggo. I'm going to have to avoid him. Yep, yep. Rough times ahead, guys. Rough times ahead. Thank you.